Hey, yo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omar. And I wanted to come on here and talk about just me being here in Egypt, living here in Egypt uh, as an American during these, you know, times of war uh, in Gaza right now. Um, it's an interesting experience. I know if you're here in Egypt um, as a non-Egyptian, it's going to be really difficult for you not to feel the strong empathy in the air. There's a really strong empathetic force, you know, towards Gaza and the people of Palestine right now. And if you're here, you're going to feel it. You know, people are talking about it. People are boycotting and they're protesting. Um, there were protests in the Tahrir Square, which is the same um, area where the revolution happened back in 2011. And um, so there were protests there. Most of my friends are talking about it. All of my friends are talking about it. And it's a really interesting, you know, feeling being here as an American because I've gotten questions from people, you know, from back at home asking if I'm safe here because, of course, the U.S. involvement in the war and, they're, and them supporting Israel financially and with weapons and just overall diplomatic support, uh, people have the idea that maybe like my safety is in jeopardy as an American and you know I, I'll be honest I don't feel unsafe I don't feel unsafe as an American I feel safe Egypt is a safe place and I think me having lived here for over two years now I already have a built-in community right I have a built-in community of people who know who I am who understand who I am and, and, and understand my heart and you know so it's you know it's not really an unsafe feeling that but it is um, really difficult to watch the news stories the videos that I see on Twitter and Instagram and just hearing how my you know friends are responding to this it's 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 sad you know Egypt they already have their own grudge against Israel just from you know their historic considerations you know which also I think fuels their their empathy towards what's happening now you know um, Egypt, of course, stands with Palestine, and they have demonstrated that support in various ways. Um, I know I have friends who are boycotting different American establishments that are supporting Israel. Like I mentioned, they're also protesting, um, and they're really active on social media. Lots of my friends are very active on social media, posting about what's going on, posting different updates, and you know, it, it, and these things cannot be ignored. I feel like we're in a time where this does require a strong collective, um, this requires collective support. This requires collective support, collective efforts, collective cohesion, so we can really try to relegate the world to peace. I mean, this is something that um, I've been reading about for as long as I've been in graduate school because I came to Egypt for graduate school and I was really immersed in the Palestinian and Israeli conflict and it was a really interesting case study. I love reading about it and it's really interesting and I try to stay on top of the news as much as I can but it's really hard because you know who wants to keep turning on the news and seeing that you know missile strikes are still occurring and thousands of people are dying every day. It's like in a way like you want to shelter yourself from the reality in efforts to kind of you know avoid feeling just what you feel on the inside but at the end of the day it's I feel like I also feel guilty when I do that you know when I try to shelter myself from the news so I just don't so I so I'm just not consumed with what's going on I feel guilty and so I try to stay as informed as I can about what's going on and I try to stay um, you know just on top of the news and also because I want to continue giving updates to my family back at home because I have family back at home who are Concerned, you know, my grandmother and my aunts like they're concerned about my safety. So I do try to, you know, stay informed for these reasons as well, but also just to, you know, fuel, uh, just to build upon my own um, knowledge about the conflict and the historic considerations that are uh, resulting in all of this. So it's interesting, like I said, to say the least, being here because. It's such a it's such a weird time to be in Egypt with all this stuff going on. But like, apart from the war, like Egypt's economy is really suffering right now. They need dollars. They don't have foreign currency, and it's just a really 
weird time to be in Egypt. <laughs> but um, I love Egypt regardless. I love being here. Um, and, and I don't regret coming to move here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But like I said, in regards to the Israeli-Palestinian war, it is really, like, you can feel it in the air people are upset. For me, on my Instagram, I have most of my Egyptian friends. You know, so I see a lot of pro-Palestinian posts. <clears throat> on my Facebook, I have lots of friends from just all around the world, and I'm seeing lots of, like, pro-Israeli posts. So I'm kind of, like, seeing, like, what's happening and, and what's being said on both sides. Of course, there's only one side that I stand with. But, like I said, it's not... It's still... I think it's good to not show to yourself from the narratives being spilled about what's happening on all directions. I'm still trying to stay informed. Um and to educate myself and I think the most important thing right now is to educate our brothers and sisters to educate everyone we can on what's going on like I said on the historic um, aspects that play a strong role in this as well because I think people are seeing this conflict and assuming that well this is this this is just a war you know they can solve it but there's a lot of historical tension and historical trauma that has led up to this then and, and, and I think people need to be aware about that so Educate yourself, stay informed, watch the news. Okay, so my camera died during the outro. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.